Hey, this is Sihir from myhexable.com. Today we have really some cool animations. I checked this uh, prototype from Yaroslav Zubko on uh, Dribble. Check it out. That's what you, we're gonna make today. Really amazing stuff. Let's see what I got. So it's like a, a filter pop-up and uh, what I like in here is uh, of course the FAP circular wheel and then you see this icon it's like shared between the the multiple views like it goes from FAP to action toolbar or something and then there is the X animating back here to the center and then it goes to the fab because uh, fab becomes the x you see really great design and like keeping the connection between the views and all the stuff i really like it look how we implement that and uh, if you looked at my previous uh, tutorials about the circular wheel you probably know about uh, how to make that it's really simple api and some stuff of the animations I'm gonna use the uh, property animations all over the the app in here yeah I got some lots of code in here but of course I'm not gonna cover all of it just the most important and the uh, interesting stuff let's start with the the fab animation the curve so just animate the 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 fab from this point to this is isn't hard right you can use different approaches object animators view property animator whatever you want and this is gonna be linear right and the only thing that differs from linear to the curve just uh, changing the y animation and uh, I just use this uh, simple equation y equals x times x for y which is parabola and just by Apply this equation, we get this curve, beautiful curve. I use value animator of float, x goes linear and y is, uh, is a curve animation. And by default all, view, all uh, property animations uh, got uh, accelerate, decelerate interpolator, so don't worry about uh, the this stuff you see it looks nice because it's already got the interpolator it's not linear by default and yeah that's the curve animation really simple simple math circular wheel you probably know how to implement that this stuff then there is just the scaling up this this tabs thing I didn't implement the the way it looks in the prototype but the main thing I wanted to focus on the main things and this is just uh, here I just fade in this bottom thing and uh, what you need to decide in here is uh, whether you want to create an extra view for the icon flying or all over the screen or you just want to use the fab so I decided to use the f the fab icon itself just uh, just disable the background remove the background and the only way to remove the background of floating by action button is by using this method set background in the list and you set uh, you give the color state list of transparent color and remove the removing the elevation that's the only way and after that you can you can translate the fab anywhere you want it's just gonna be an icon but of course you need to consider the size of the icon it's still 56 dp so I just animate it in here then down to the right and uh, then I just hide it those two icons are static those are not uh, from the floating action button from now on and uh, 
in order for you to animate the views all over the screen the views uh, root layout should be should take all the place that you want to animate in but it's not a problem because the fab is the first nested layer in their layout in here that's why you can it can go all over the screen anywhere it wants let's go back the final thing is the uh, backwards animation which is just as cool it's a uh, backwards uh, circular wheel then the X goes uh, back to the center to the center in the curve and it's like merges into the fab and this uh, red bottom bar is like uh, shrinking into the fab you see I have this red uh, bar of 60 40p but the fab size is 56 right that's why I shrink the height as well let's break down the animation you need first you need to, to shrink it to the size of so 56 dp and uh, make those uh, curve corners it's uh, pretty simple to do you just uh, create a shape drawable shape is a rectangle by default it has no no corner no radius no curves and the reason why I create this gradient in here inside not solid tag is that uh, they created shape drawable if I would put shape in here it wouldn't have the set uh, corner radius method but the gradient uh, drawable it has it let me show you here you see set corner radius and just uh, check uh, yeah and the value animator again then I just uh, shrink it to the 56 dp width which creates a circle and animate the y value and then it goes back into this position and uh, that's it I haven't implemented this uh, list in here but uh, I think it's uh, doesn't make sense for now the most important and interesting is this pop-up here all right thanks for watching